Hey everyone, and welcome to the Grow Hemp series. Today, we'll be trying a water culture grow in a mason jar. So this grow starts in the middle of the previous grow log, as we'll be taking the top part of the plant that was cut off and trying some interesting experiments with it. Now that I'm pretty comfortable with the typical parameters of a water culture build, I wanted to test it even further, stretching it to the extremes to see what I can and can't get away with. So first of all, I'm using a 16 ounce mason jar as the base of this water culture build. And because a standard 3 inch net pot won't fit in this small of a jar, I'm starting with the lid of a soda cup to hold the top stem in place. To try and root the stem, I'm not going to be using any cloning powders or gels, as in a water culture setup, it'll just wash away immediately anyways. And instead, all I'm using is tap water and an air stone connected to an air pump. And that's it. I left it in the grow tent and surprisingly after two and a half weeks, one root appeared from the stem. So it actually worked. At this point, I've had enough time to order some two inch net cups. So I'm switching it over to that along with some hydrogen to help stabilize the stem and roots because a soda cup lid would never be able to support the weight of a growing plant. And although a 2 inch net cup is actually a little too small for this jar opening, the addition of the air pump line coming in from the side is able to lock it all in place. Also I forgot to mention that I'm pretty much flowering the plant right at the beginning of the grow since there's no need for a plant to grow large in this type of setup. And I've been just refilling the jar with water and one part bloom fertilizer every time it started to run out. Now here's a side by side of the plant along with the roots. Typically, this shot isn't possible since you're not supposed to have any light leak going into the water reservoir due to the risk of algae forming. But since this is more of an experimental grow, I wanted algae to form to see what it looks like and the effects it has on a plant. So a side benefit of that is that I can film the roots as well. The roots are growing at a rapid pace and it's also quite unique to be able to see just how much water the plant is using in real time. One of the more interesting things though is that even though the roots started at an insane speed of growth, once the roots reached the edge of the mason jar, the growth rate of the roots slowed significantly as if it knew the space available was limited. I figured that the roots would start circling the mason jar, similar to that of soil growth, causing root down issues, but this didn't appear to be the case. Here you can see that the root color is slowly changing green, signaling the growth of algae in the mason jar. And while algae is bad because it competes with the plant for nutrients and oxygen, for this entire grow, it didn't seem to affect the growth of the plant much, if at all. And that could be because the huge amount of oxygen that Airstone brings to the small space and the abundance of nutrients provided after each refill of the nutrient water. And as the days progress, you can see that the algae is taking over the entire jar until there's really no point in filming the roots since everything has just turned into a big green blob. And while a camera tries to unsuccessfully focus, the plant is flowering just fine with 
really no issues at all coming from the small water reservoir and the algae completely taking over the water reservoir. So I just left it as is and pretty much did nothing except refill the water every time it got low. As we wait for the plant to finish, I'll go over a quick rundown of the grow setup I'm using for this grow. The plant is being housed in a 3x3x6 feet grow tent, and you can clearly see that there are two other deep water culture grows happening in this tent. I'm using a large LED grow light for the entire tent, a clip-on fan on the side for airflow to the plants, and a carbon filter along with a 4 inch inline fan to both scrub the air of the smell and exhaust the air outside. Now two months into the flowering stage, the trichomes show that the plant is ready for harvest. I'm just removing the large fan leaves off the plant first so you can see just what the final plant looks like. And now a quick look at the mason jar shows just how much algae there was in the end. I mean seriously, take a look at these roots. I have no idea how the plant didn't show any growth problems with the entire root system just coated in a thick layer of slimy algae. Either way, I'm just giving the buds a quick trim, removing any leaves poking out of them, and that's pretty much it. The experiment was surprisingly successful and gave me a better understanding of the types of compact water culture systems I can try in the future. Like the content? then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch, available at Amazon in print and digital, with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.